Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plain Obsessed, and today we're going to have a look in on the progress of the horizontal migration for the cocoon only bins, moving them over to the horizontal bins, and uh, let's have a look. I did sneak in here and feed them some baby carrots, hoping to entice them to move along. I also did feed these guys off camera, sorry for cheating on you guys. Uh, I just really have not but had time right now. I am super busy at work. I sleep, I work, I sleep, I work, repeat. So, sorry about the delay in putting out any videos, but uh, it has been a little crazy. I will get back to my regularly scheduled schedule, uh, probably end of November, early December. All right, let's have a look and see what the migration is doing. All right, let's see what the European night crawlers are doing over here. Now, I've been moving these bins from pillar to post, and I don't remember which end is which, so bear with me for a second to find out which end is the migration end. Okay. I hope it's not that end, because that, again, is very super wet. But let me look over here and see if we've got any takers. Not really. It's been probably a week, and they've probably all run amok again. Dang it. Well, that's one of those things with horizontal migrations rather than light migrations. Um, you really do have to keep an eye on it. Once you set the food, you have to be diligent and uh, get in after them. All right, well, we're going to have to feed them up again. Uh, horizontal migration fail. All right, let's see. The red wigglers, uh, let's see if they've done any different. Let's switch my hand here. Looks really pretty though. Look at that castings. Still got a piece of uh, corn they're going through. Seems a little higher on this side. Maybe this is the migration side. Nope. Same story though. Looks like the bedding is still there, the food is gone, and the worms have run amok again. So, gonna have to reset that. Let me go grab some food. And I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and I think I'm gonna start with the red wigglers here. Kind of pull back everything that's over here in the proposed feeding zone. And then, dang it, get off me. Uh, let me give them a little more bedding. It's getting super wet in there. So, give them some bedding. Alright, got them some bedding. And I'm not really sure what's in here. Doesn't smell super good. Seems to be a lot of bananas and stuff. Cover that up. Yuck. But they should like it, right? Should get this migration business going. Alright, we'll put their lid back on. Alright, now I'm back and we're going to take a look at the European Nightcrawlers. Get them some more bedding. There we go. And then we'll get their bag of food. Um, avocados, bananas, onions, lime. I think some people that watch me for a long time wonder if that's all we eat here. Onions, bananas avocados. Not far from wrong. Alright, well that is the European night crawlers all fed up for their bait again. Uh, let's go look and see what the new guys are doing. See what the new European night crawler and new red wiggler bins are looking like. Back in a second. Okay, here we are back with the European night crawlers and the red wigglers, as you can see over here. They were placed in there October 2nd, so it's been a little over a month. 
they've had one feeding. So let's open them up and take a look and see what they're doing. Okay, it looks like they're already doing a, a good job of making castings. So even though there might not be a lot of them, or maybe there is. We took about a pound, I think. So here's the mashed up carrots. Looks like they're getting into it. Not quite a worm ball yet. But it's a little bit wet in there, so let me get them some, some more bedding. Try that out just a little bit. Just giving them the part of my prepared bedding that was on top that's dried out a little. So it's still part of the prepared bedding, but it's... I don't keep the container closed. I just uh, leave it open so it doesn't get moldy or anything. So that's, that's pretty good. They've uh, still got enough food for right now. And now they've got a little bit more bedding to hopefully keep them comfortable. Alright, looking on the next bin here, they also, looks like we've got a little bit of a worm ball here. Not much, I know that's a pretty sad worm ball compared to last time. But they certainly seem to be moving into the food and maturing, so that's good. And as in the other bin, this one does seem to be super wet. So I'm going to give them some handfuls of, of the bedding. I'll try and remember to click a link up here, or put a link up here to uh, how I make my bedding. It's all kinds of paper. I know some people are concerned that, um, you know, cereal boxes and whatnot are bad for worms, but I do work in the food industry, and I can tell you that a lot of research goes into worst-case scenario, people eating cereal boxes, etc. So um, it's not going to hurt the worms. They're very careful about what they put into food packaging. So that is it for today. Uh, no ex super exciting worm balls or anything, but it is an update, which I have not had time to do in quite a long time. All right, guys. Well, if you like the video, give me a muddy thumbs up. And if you're not already a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day.